Others would say, well, he, he was a prophet, he was of God. What's the truth? You know, all the animals were very good. But you know, shall I know this? Do you know what you're going Jesus is way more than just a prophet. Jesus is way more than just a prophet. Jesus is way more than just a He's a little bit of a of his pupils, ethics stuff, which is probably the most important question every person in this room will ever get asked. He proved that the best day is now mine, and he proved that he put it on my field, because I'm not like that. He asked his disciples, who do you say that I am? He was a little bit of a of his pupils, he was. Who do you say that I am? He was a little bit of a of his pupils. You know, that's one of the most important questions you'll ever get asked, and it's one of the most important questions that you need to answer. So, yes, that's the root of my people, then, to put it over there, yes, the root of my people, then, I want to trust that question. Who do you say Jesus is? Can you do this, you go there? And this is what made them cry before you still spoke there. I said, Jesus Christ, you're the son of the living God. You're the son of the living God. You're the son of the living God. The Bible says that Jesus is the Visible image of the invisible God. A few additions to whom they might be invisible, who deal with the invisible. See, Peter answered this question that Jesus is asking. Now, if Peter was going to ask a pregunta, Jesus is. And basically, this is what he's saying. He's about to give you a list of Jesus. I know who you are, Jesus. You're saying, I know where you're from. I know where you're from. You're saying, I know what you're about. You're saying, I know where you're from. You're God. Where is you? I know who you are, I'll just say hey, yes. And then Jesus responded to Peter when he asked him this question, answered the question. He pushed the doors and the Christian view appeared and got a real deal of sponsor. He said, you're blessed, Peter. You'll be just with you. Let's all be a real class, Peter. And then he goes on and he makes this statement. He pushed your foot there, he's my life, he's gonna die. He said, now that you know who I am, you'll be going to work for us to your school. I'm going to tell you who you are. You're going to give them to me. Now there's another big question that you're going to have to answer in life. Yes, there was a great question, I thought I think we'll never do that. Who am I? What's my reason for existence? What am I here for? What am I supposed to do? Get your thoughts here for you. Get your thoughts for you. You know, even many people who know God, there's many people who are here that hear in this room tonight, you know God. But you know, many of you have got to ask do you know what you're living for? Do you know what you're living for? Do you know what God's reason for your existence? Do you know what God's reason for your existence? You know the many people here who might not know God. But you know one of the biggest questions that you need to get answered in your life. But who does the most question to this next world we're going to go here? It's the answer to the question of who am I? The expert I felt the case for you. What am I here for? So we're going to keep that key. Why do I exist? What do you exist? What's the reason for living? Well, they have a value for you. What's the purpose in life? Well, they'll come apart if they believe it. And Jesus said to me, he said, you know, now that you know who I am, you should look at the people that are going to talk about you for. I'm going to tell you who you are. I'm going to give you a chance to. I'm going to tell you who you really are. We're going to take two words to help you. Then he goes on and he makes this statement. He says, now the fact that he knows who I am, and now you know who you are, you're going to do that straight through this, 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 this is what I'm going to build my church on. And so he, you're going to be God. And he did that. You know every single one of us in this room, that the devil would rather be left out of all the church of Jesus Christ. And shall not wait here. Every one of us in this room is called the body of Christ. You know, God was making a statement when he was speaking. You know, God was making a statement when he was speaking. He was saying basically, it's not going to be the celebrities in this world that are going to make a difference. But it's going to be the people who are going to be the last people who are going to be the last people who are going to be the last They won't have an influence. Well, they care for it. But you know what? But some of the people. God's purpose and God's plan for you. The proposal is built, the plan for you is built, is that you might be in His church. The proposal is shared through you, that you might be the what is called the body of Christ. The proposal is shared through you, that you might be what God uses 